Hello, TCG history fans. It is time for us to open some Hecatomb. If you'd never seen Hecatomb before, you're in for an interesting game. Uh, if you don't know, it's made by Wizards of the Coast. It's very edgy, and it stretches the definition of card. Uh, we're opening a starter deck, but it's actually still quite exciting because it's a randomized starter deck. I always prefer randomized starter decks, but, you know, whatever. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here it is. It is. Hecatomb, 40 card starter. I am very excited for this because I know about Hecatomb. I'm kind of spoiling the gimmick here, but I've never actually played it. I heard it's actually all right, you know, but I'd, I'd like to see how good it is for myself. Uh, what really excites me is these are, in fact, random cards. So it's like an old school style starter deck. So this is a game made by Wizards of the Coast. Uh, in 2004, I want to say. I should have did the research before. But it only lasted a couple of sets. It was not a huge success, but it was very ambitious. And it's quite uh, dark, I would say. In its overall aesthetic and tone. You know, it's focusing on the occult. I mean, I mean, look at it. It looks like it would be the card game version of Quake. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Stick, stick a Nine Inch Nail logo on it, like right here, and that would make a good album cover. We got a lot in here. We'll get into the, the good stuff in a little bit. But first, uh, we have counters. I didn't know this game used counters, but apparently it does. Um, I've never played this. I've always wanted to, though, just because the gimmick of it was so interesting to me. Still is. I mean, it's kind of like uh, if you've ever played Redekai, kind of, a, but not really. But they're. It's weird, but it's cool. I appreciate ambition. Uh, so here's going over the types of cards, and or the types of things on a card, and uh, let's get cracking. Blank piece of cardboard, and here is. Trying to get them all. Ooh, they're okay. Um, they they've fused together. Uh. Okay, that's interesting. Um, ooh, they're very sticky. Guess they're. Uh... What do I do? <laughs> um, I was not expecting that. Jeez, these look cool though. Look at that. Uh, wow, they're so thin. I was not expecting them to be this thin. It's just a thin, like really thin piece of plastic. Huh. The other thing is, I don't know if they ever made sleeves for these. I don't know. Did they? If they did, I want some to sleeve this stuff, but like that would be weird. Gift of Hades. Fire, uh, five space interloper. Food poisoning. Can, can, can you hear that? Here, here, some ASMR for you. Ooh, that was a uh, midnight snack. And, uh, oh, they smell weird. I, I know you guys won't be able to smell that, but they smell funky. Uh, forsaken shell. They do kind of look like they're Frisbees. The Butcher. Uh, Callow Believer. Devout, devout, devoted one. I can't talk today. That's really bad. Twin Husk. Eh, there we go. Uh, so I guess, yeah, they, they do stick together if they sit for 17-ish years or whatever. I can't do math. Victimize. Uh, 
damned thing. There goes my monetization. Who am I kidding? This channel's not monetized. For that, we need all of you to subscribe. Look how smooth that was. Uh, tholi, tho, 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 I don't know. Tho, Unholy fusion. Uh, big brother. Hungry chupacabra. That's sweet. And it's green because of course it's green. Skin taker. Ooh. Uh, bloodlust. Can you? Can you? Lord of Sacrifices. I, this is just so ridiculous. They're not coming apart. Uh, great Mother. So I suppose that's something if you're looking to get into this game uh, to be wary of. Look at this. There we go. I like the aesthetic a lot. Um, I like dark fantasy quite a bit so murder of crows i think that might be my favorite card wait 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 what was that oh uh that's that's look at that this one's literally broken is there a piece somewhere? oh yeah there's a tiny little piece right 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 there so, that's a shame. Uh, I'll just have to sell it as a single as near mint. So then we have this block here that I can't even separate. Uh, these ones, okay, these ones are fine. But this is just a mound of them. Would make a good coaster for my drink. All right, guys, uh, so my camera died, oops halfway through so let's get back into this uh where were we we have winchester blessing brain surgeon creature from zelo it was only a dream surrounded by idiots and uh oh, there we go had to break them apart and they're still kind of stuck together. Uh, Greater Wolfling. Blood Monkey. Awesome. <sighs> Glimpse into the Cosmos. Mindless Servant. Nebrian Elephant. Crypt Collar. Sucking. No, Suckling. Suckling. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, Spirit of Fury. And that's every card. Um, would I recommend you buy these? I don't know. Uh, clearly, there is some issues here with long-term term storage. Uh, maybe buy someone's collection where they're already nice and protected instead. Uh, or just play it in Tabletop Sim or something. I don't know if it's on there or not yet. But I certainly will be finding out. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm a little underwhelmed, to be honest, now that, like, I've been waiting years to get some Hecatomb stuff in to just see it, and they're sticky. Well, uh, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully with something even more exciting and less sticky. Goodbye.